Well, this week in Destiny, we've got the return of Festival of the Lost, the Halloween-themed event. Plus, we've got double Nightfall rewards all week long, and that is paired with a brand new Nightfall weapon. So it's Tuesday, the 29th of October, 2024, and this is what's going on in Destiny 2 this week. Well, Festival of the Lost is back today, and this is the Halloween-themed event in Destiny 2, and it's here for the next few weeks. So it's time to jump back into the haunted sectors, pick up the eerie engrams, and also pick up some sweet loot. We've got a new shotgun called Arcane Embrace, plus also improved rolls on previous weapons. So speak to Eva Levante in the tower courtyard and get started. Also, Bungie are giving away a new emblem to commemorate the recent Waitgate incident. The code is VHT6A73MM. I'll put that in the description and also the redeem URL down there below so you'll be able to pick it up yourself. Next up, we've got the exotic mission rotator for the week. This one is Operation Seraph Shield, and you'll be able to get yourself a craftable revision zero. Next up, we've got the featured raids for the week. And remember, we've got two featured raids and two featured dungeons now as of episode revenant so first of all we have the vault of glass that is the well, one of the featured raids for the week the second featured raid is crota's end so really good opportunities to get some great loot with some old school raids this week next up we got the featured dungeons for the week so first of all we are on the cosmodrome and this one is the grasp of avarice so make sure you check that out. We've got some really great armor and some classic weapons with the Matador 64 available in this one. So check out the Grasp of Avarice on the Cosmodrome. And then for the other featured dungeon for the week, it's Warlord's Ruin. You can find this one on the EDZ. Next up, we've got the Nightfall content and the Grandmaster Nightfall content for the week. So this one is the Light Blade. We've got a new weapon, as I mentioned before, Rake Angle. And the Grandmaster Nightfall is available as well. And also, we've got bonus Vanguard ranks and double Nightfall rewards all week long. Next up, let's have a look at Crucible. So, featured playlists this week, we've got Mayhem. We also have Countdown. And there, of course, is another chance to get the featured weapon in Comp this week. That is Deadlock. So, good luck if you're going after that. Well, next up, let's have a look at the seasonal challenges. So first of all, we have Rare Herbalist to collect flakes, the rare reagent used to make tonics in Ido's Tonic Lab. We've got Above and Beyond, so complete bonus objectives in Onslaught Salvation. We've got Performance Enhance, so defeat combatants in episode revenant activities with volatile tonics active. We've got Expert Sector, so complete a lost sector on expert difficulty or higher. And finally, Grandmaster, so complete any Nightfall Strike on Grandmaster difficulty. Well, it's Tuesday, it's reset day, so let's head on over to Banshee44 and see what weapons he has for us this week. Have a look at the focus decoding first, so the Viced weapons and the Omelon weapons. Definitely some good weapons in there, but let's have a look at the featured weapons next. First of all, Memory Interdict, and Fine Launch, Augmented Drum, Pulse Monitor, and Disruption Break. We've got Peace of Mind. This one is a Pulse Rifle. Popular one from a few seasons ago. Corkscrew Rifling. Armor Piercing Rounds. Perpetual Motion. Adrenaline Junkie. And Land Tank. We've got Briar's Love. Chamber Compensator. Tactical Mag. Keep Away. Explosive Payload. And we've got Head Rush. That one is a popular one from a few seasons ago. Next up, Hand in Hand. So Rifled Barrel. Appended Mag. Ensemble. Trench Barrel. And then finally, field tested. And then finally, we've got the funnel web. Arrowhead break, acarized rounds, perpetual motion, range finder, vice stinger. And that one is going to be good for PvP. Definitely recommend you pick that one up if you haven't already. Well, that is it for Banshee44 and his featured weekly weapons. Let's head on over to the Eververse store. See what Tess has for us. First of all, don't forget, it is Festival of the Lost. That means you can pick up the uh, the new armor for Bright Dust or for Silver. This is what the Warlock armor looks like. It looks pretty good. I'm quite tempted to uh, get hold of that this week. But let's have a look at the rest of the Bright Dust items. First of all, Whimsical Projection. Goes very nicely with the armor. 
we should we should first of all have a look at these items. So we've got Skelly Ghoul, Shadow Strike, we've got Hive Lantern Projection, Gourd Summoner. Look at that. That is a classic. A classic in Destiny, that one. We've got the Jacko Shell. So another classic. Okay, now let's have a look at the rest of the Bright Dust items. We've done that one. Whimsical Projection. We've got an ornament here for Parasite. We've got the Grotesque Lapis. We've got the Wretched Bow. Ah, that is very nice. I do like that one. We've got Eternal Shell. <laughs> look at that. That is excellent. We've got Jump Scare. I was waiting for it. And we've got Knock Knock. Yes. Very good. We've got Luminous Cocoon. That one again. Very Halloween themed. Up in Smoke. Look pretty good. You got a uh, arachnophile. Oh, absolutely terrifying. Hanging cobweb. The shader. That's a pretty good shader. I like that one. Vibrant Medusa. Melchizedek. I'm not going to say that. Bramble. <laughs> Do correct me in the comments. And Dark Fluorescent. Well, not easy for me to say this week. Well, that is about it for your weekly reset information on the 29th of October 2024. I think the big news is this week, Festival of the Lost is back. We've also got double Nightfall rewards all week long with that brand new weapon. So make sure you jump into that. But whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this week, I hope you have a good time. Don't forget you can hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. And you can also like the video and share the video too. That would help me out here on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Well, thank you for watching that video. And today I'd like to talk about Endgame Express backstage the home of exclusive content for fans of Endgame Express. To join, simply join up through Patreon or the YouTube membership. You get early access and exclusive content, shout outs in the videos, access to live streams, plus also access to our exclusive Endgame Express backstage community Discord. Well, here's some more information about the tiers. So in tier one, that is $2.99 a month, you get access to our community Discord and also early access to content. In tier 2 that is $4.99 and you get shout outs in the credits of videos and also you get access to community polls and help shape the content. For tier 3 that is $8.99 and you'll get access to exclusive community videos and also get access to exclusive live streams as well. Well the core content on Endgame Express is always going to be free but if you want to go above and beyond and support Endgame Express then all you need to do is get access to Endgame Express backstage today through Patreon or YouTube membership. You know, Endgame Express is a one-man band right now, but I would love to expand into more games, podcasts, more channels. But to do that, I'm going to need your help to make this sustainable. And in return, I offer you some exclusive benefits and backstage-only content. Well, if you enjoy Endgame Express, then consider Endgame Express backstage today. You can hit that membership button right down below, or you can find us on the Patreon links, and you'll find those links in the description. Well, thank you for listening, and thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you very soon.